behind, fall behind on this map. Anyways, uh, this is the central part of the map. This, uh, this area, the lightning gun. Look at that nice lightning gun. Can you imagine this game was created in 96? Okay, so I think Carapace, I'm just gonna unmute him. Yeah, Grand talk power. Hello, Kara. Hello, what's up? Oh, well, just uh, introducing the, the watchers to this uh, lovely map. Anyways, we're on. I actually didn't even catch the countdown. Um, Locus gets the red armor spawn right at the back of the bat. Which is a great start. He's got to hunt for BPS to get the first important frag on this map. Of course, as on any other map, the first frag is very important. And he gets it. A beautiful one shot. Yeah. Perfect start for Locust. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice little rocket by BPS. Actually, throwing Locust down to just 24 armor left. But he's gonna sneak away to the red armor. Anyway, how, how are you doing, Carapace? Sorry, I didn't get to introduce you before the game oh, started. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm actually gonna face the loser of this one if I can win my next game in the loser bracket, so... Okay. Who I have a you, personal uh, interest in here. Who would you rather face, BPS or Locust? Oh, it's hard to say. I've uh, I won against them both uh, quite recently, so uh, uh, hard to say. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess either way, it's gonna be a good game. I think that one as well. Anyways, back to this game. Locust is still in the lead, one to zero. Doesn't have that much armor left though, and BPS has the positional advantage as of now. And BPS is gonna try to attack a little bit. And he gets the red armor as well. I'm gonna switch over to BPS. I was actually watching Locust. Oh, nice little rocket by by Locust. Can he wow. Pretty low. Yeah, both of them really low, but uh, BPS with a great uh, positional advantage here. Can easily stack up and Locust can't. Yes, Locust needs to play very defensive now. He doesn't want to give away this frag for free, especially considering that when you die, there's a possibility to uh, die to a lot of spawn frags. Oh, nice prediction by by Locust, knowing that BPS was going to stand there. But he's still fighting from behind a little bit, Locust is. Oh, yeah. my God. oh and here comes What's the frag. He sleeping? <laughs> what? BPS picks up the frag. Uh, Locust. Wasn't prepared for BPS to uh, to leave the red armor room that quickly, and got caught off guard. So I, we're in a tight game now. I can't believe he didn't hear BPS there. It looked really weird. Yeah. He was looking at the other direction while BPS was making a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, a little uh, blunder from Locust. But we're still at uh, one to one, so this is still a tight game. BPS with, of course the armor advantage but that might change so quickly in this game uh, both of these players are extremely patient so they're not gonna make any stupid mistakes just throwing the game away by uh, running into the opponent giving them a lot of frags also if uh, anyone of you listening is on QTV let me know if the sound levels are okay the in-game sound contra you know, versus the uh, the sound of me and Carapace. It's good to know. I can change it in, a, in an instant, but I can't know how it sounds. Great LG there by BPS, really punishing Locust stack. Now he only has uh, HP and a green to work with. It's interesting how BPS managed to turn this around. Locked, uh, I mean Locust, sorry, Locktar. Um, Locust actually got a perfect start with the red armor spawn and the first frag. BPS managed to turn it around. Just impressive. It's uh, not an easy task. Ooh, very close there. <laughs> yeah. It's not an easy task against someone like Locust to, to turn that around. Anyways, Locust manages to sneak away to the red armor room, almost dying to BPS shaft. But that means he's gonna get a red armor. Yes, trying to force him out of there with a few grenades. And he has the Mega as well, so Locust can't really stack up there either. Oh, nice, nice frag for BPS. 
But a but great locus, spawn for Locus. Yeah, great spawn for Locus. He gets the red armor spawn. Now BPS is on the back foot. He needs to find some... Oh, and Loc <laughs> Locus is gonna pick that frag up easily. I got the dwarf bug. I really need to update this uh, this Eastquake. I got it as well, so I'm not sure if it's uh, possible to update it away. Oh, I thought it was just me. Anyways, Locust turned it around once again, so now he's in the lead with the um, speaking armor wise. He has control of the red armor, he al already has one on him. And he's got the full hundred cells to his lightning gun. Uh, really clever there by Locus, just uh, trying to get BPS as low as possible so he can exit the red without taking that much damage. Much easier to kill BPS from an exit uh, if he's low. And also it's not gonna allow any uh, red armor spawns for BPS. I'm sorry about this dwarf bug by the way, it looks kind of weird. And I know that it does, but as of right now, I can't do anything about it. It's gonna go away soon, don't worry. Game of chess at the moment. Yeah, very slow paced game, only four frags and we've already played six minutes. Only four minutes remaining. Oh, he spotted BPS going into the Mega yeah. right there. This is Ooh. not a good position for BPS. I think the correct thing would be to just stay in there. I don't think he can exit there as long as Locust is up here. He needs to predict when Locust is gonna go for the red armors. And then try to escape. Otherwise yeah, he's not gonna make it out. Uh, Locust is trying to bait him with sound cues and, uh, oh, and BPS is trying to find an opening but he can't. Three to two and uh, four to two. That's another frag for Locust. But BPS is gonna sneak away to the red armor. Oh, but he oh dies instantly. Wow. Uh, huge blunder there. Rocket and jump into all those pines. Yeah. That's four quick frags for Locust. BPS needs to take it easy now. Cool down. He cannot give away more frags, otherwise, this is gonna be so hard. Good spam, good spam. He needs to keep doing that to have a chance to bring Locus down to a manageable uh, armor health situation for BPS. Because uh, even though just a minute ago it was we were tied at two, now suddenly the time is running out for BPS. Now he needs to get at least four frags. Oh, no! oh this is a perfect start for BPS. In his comeback, in his quest for comeback, 2 minutes 20 seconds remaining, he did get the frag, he's gonna get this red armor that spawns now. He only needs to make 3 more frags to tie this up. Oh, oh, oh. he gets him up. down there, nice. Yeah. No, oh, no, that was... That cannot happen. Yeah, Locus has got his pack and BPS didn't uh, account it. Wow. Oh, nice grenade frag. Oh, my oh God. <laughs> but the perfect boomstick from BPS in return. No, but he dies again. This is such wow. a scrappy game. Yeah, this game opened up completely. Oof, both players so low. Locus Locust. able to stack yeah. up though. This is now not looking too good for BPS. Locus does get the stack that he wanted. And he does have a shaft as well, so he could actually just take this fight if he wanted to. And now he's get, he gets the red as well. Oh, BPS almost gets pinned by the lightning gun, the famous lightning gun of Locust. Still just four frags though, so BPS just needs to kill Locust. At least once to get the uh, roll going. Oh, Ooh, so close! Oh, so close. Locust actually just survived with like. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! But this game is uh, kind of hard to even commentate just because everything happens at the same time. Kind of, they just keep trading frags. No, <laughs> he actually hits a hole. Uh, yeah. But it gets, gets it. the frag, but a really bad position. But it doesn't matter because Locust spawns the mega. Yeah, still so low on HP though, cannot hit any rockets to, I mean, eat any rockets. But he gets the red and he has 30 seconds remaining, three frags. 
One frag every 10 seconds. Oh, that is a perfect start. Is this two frags? Good? Two frags. Is he gonna make this? Can he do it? No! <laughs> you cannot fall down into the lava. Perfect spam oh my by Locust. Whoa. Great LG, but it's not enough. 10 seconds oh. remaining, two frags. This game suddenly suddenly became so much fun so much more fun to watch. Five seconds, this is not gonna happen. Locust is gonna win the first map. This is a best of three. Sorry, uh, I did not say so before. This is a best of three on this map only, which means that we're gonna get at least one more game on this map in this series. It couldn't be much more tight. <laughs> no. Same Ten to eight, the final score of the first map. And I gotta say, it was very close, but then BPS falls down into the lava yeah. because of the spawn of Locust. I mean, the uh, spam. Sorry, I can't talk. The spam of Locust put him down into the lava. That was so unfortunate for BPS, but he gets another chance now. 0-0, zero, zero, we're back from the beginning. Forget about that game and try to win this one. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take us away, Kara. Alright, PPS gets the LG spawn. Much better. He can now cut Locust off from getting any weapons. Ooh, but he gets the frag rather than securing the red. Uh, he's paid off secure. here. Yeah. Well, he opens himself up and Locust gets the LG. Can I get oh, nice! Yeah, nice, nice rocket. Perfectly timed. Uh, very nice job there, cutting Locust off completely. So, uh, it's in uh, Locust's hands now to make something happen. He gets the red spawn. When BPS doesn't want to chase for it. He had a, a little window there before the red was gonna spawn, but... Yeah, he should know that he shouldn't try to attack here. It's better off just staying here. Hits up. An okay LG. Not perfect though, but oh. that is perfect! <laughs> No telefrags for you, Locust, no matter what you try. And that's a quick 6 to... No, 5 to 0. Didn't get that last frag. 5 to 0 after 1 minute. This is such a faster game than the last game. Already. Can take a little yes. bit more Ooh. damage. Oh, he took too much damage. Yeah. He needs to wait here. Get the health packs down there and maybe the red after that. Oh, he gets baited. Wow. Yeah, Locust gets a bit the pin down. Oh, and, a quick... and he's rushing it for yeah. some reason. He needs to chill out, chill out. Don't try to... Don't try to uh, kill Locust right away. He has to lead. 5 to 2. BPS does. So you should just take a chill. Don't give away anything for free. Hey, it's 8 minutes. Eight minutes remaining though, so there's so much time, it's really hard to pace yourself. Yeah, awesome. Good grenade spam from Locust. Yeah, and gets punished heavily for exiting in there. Yeah. And Locust is just gonna go to the red and pick up the next one. No, he doesn't! Actually, just a second later, the red would have spawned, but he, uh, he exited anyway. He's looking for PPS, he doesn't really know where PPS is, but now he does, because no, he sees it! <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Well, maybe the spawn frag as well. No, Some, he actually really, misses it. Yeah, really awkward uh, movement and aim there by Locust. Locust isn't too stacked though, so just one rocket to the face should kill him. Not anymore now though. But is BPS even gonna exit? I don't know. I mean, there's no reason to. I uh, can wait until he can make a safe exit. Yeah, or until Locust tries to attack or something. He, there's no reason to just walk out into the uh, lightning gun of Locust. That is a little bit too risky, if you ask me. Well, now he can exit. Can yeah. he? Did he hear the sound? Probably not. No. no. Didn't realize it this time. That means Locus now has a mega as well, which makes him a little bit beefier. Uh, Locus is trying to bait him here. BPS is having none of it. Won't exit until the he absolutely needs to. Locus is gonna try to bait him out. Wow, he has found a really nice angle here. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 
and here comes the fight. BBS is one, two, and oh my God. gets killed. Perfect attack by Locust. Oh, and he tries, he tries to go for the immediate counter, but doesn't work this time. That makes it five to five. BBS not really keeping his cool after he died. Maybe thinking that Locust was uh, was uh, more hurt than he actually was. And now BPS is pinned in the in the mega room, which is oh, not good. Oh, but some perfect, yeah, some great rockets. But it's not enough to bring Locus down, unfortunately for for BPS. But still, uh, very close. So still an ex a, a, a pretty good attack, I gotta say. Uh, quite they're annoying. only separated by one frag. Yeah. BPS has full health there, so Locus won't be able to get make a clean escape. Locus will take none of those grenades. Oh, he oh, saw BPS. He? Yeah, he oh. saw BPS. Nice yeah, little he try. All, he knows all the spots on this map. Yeah. It was a nice try by BPS still, trying to be sneaky, but it didn't work this time. Oh, and he oh he's going to attack and he makes it happen. What? Wow. What just I, happened? Did he really uh, do that? I have no idea. He caught uh, Locus with his pants off. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are you yes. kidding me? He just went through and just shafted him, like... Yeah, well... Yeah. No, good frag for no BPS. respect whatsoever. No. Uh, but I guess that was a risk, and uh, sometimes you need to take risks to be able to win against players like the Locust. So we're at the tight game, 6-6. Six to six. BPS does have the red armor, but doesn't have a good means to escape this room. He's gonna try to rocket jump, misses it slightly. Which means he's gonna have to slow down once again. I think he's hoping for Locus to make a stupid attack. I'm not sure Locus is gonna swallow that bait though. Locus is losing stack all the time. Oh. Ooh, and BPS can fall back to the red here. Yeah. And BPS is gonna nice, rock jump out. Jump. Locust is pinned. This is the exact same situation as last time when BPS killed Locust. Doesn't work this time for Locust though. But we're still tied at 6. Locust doesn't have a Mega anymore though, so things are looking up for BPS. Oh, like, what a nice shaft! He pins yeah, him right. down. The mid air no. shaft. We can't get the rebound frag. No. But I guess the yellow there waiting for No conversion for him. for him, but. And one frag is so much better than having. None <laughs> for back yeah. on. Yeah, that's true. Oh, a nice oh, attack by nice. Locust, but perfect response by BPS. Nice. Oh, what a nice <laughs> rocket! Great rocket by BPS. Now has the lead. Three frags up. Three minutes remaining as well. I can play on results now. Yeah, if he just keeps his cool and really like. Only fights when he knows he's gonna win the fight, or pretty much feel very confident at least. He should have this game. But you never know. Locust is a great player as well. Perfect starting grenade. Oh, no. he has a little bit. Two health remaining on BPS. He looked a little bit indecisive what he wanted to do. Did he want to fight? Did he not? Oh, oh my god, they trade. Three frags. Yeah, they trade frags. Horrible spawn. BPS, please don't leave. Please don't yeah. leave this area. Don't get any ideas there. No, don't try to be cute or anything. Oh, nice escape though. He does escape with his life. Trying to back off. Oh, eating so much spam. Oh, no. another one. So close. Try to backstab Locus a little bit here. Try to get some spam in. No. Oh no! And he eats the eats the spam, and he gets the conversion as well. Make that one frag. I'm switching to Locus. This is so tense right now. And there we go. Ten to ten. One minute and thirty. No. no and he eats the grenade as well. He is gonna pick up the red. 
doesn't want to kill BPS there because BPS could spawn the red armor and turn this game around. So he keeps BPS alive, picks up the red and then kills him. Perfect play by Locust. BPS gets another rocket pack here. Ooh, can it? Oh, oh my god! 19 Perfect. HP! Yeah, 19 HP left on Locust. BPS is gonna hunt now. No! Oh, he's going Berserk here, but it's not enough. Switching to BPS. Oh, he's down to just 15 HP. Gets the Mega though, but he only has 50 seconds remaining. This is identical to the last game. He knows where Locust is, but this is a, such a hard place to attack into. Oh, no. oh, and perfect defense by Locust and another frag. BPS gets the red armor spawn. Is it gonna be enough though? They kill each other. BPS with a better spawn. Switching to BPS once again. This is a better spawn and he has the opportunity to kill Locust, but he needs four frags in 15 seconds. Oh, he has no time even to wait for the green. All right. No. Oh, it's He's over. attacking, yeah. Such Unfortunately kills himself. It was close games though, really close. Yeah, it could have ended either way, for sure. Definitely. Oh, it was very entertaining games, very even until the very last minute. Yeah. BPS, uh, BPS had such an opportunity in the uh, second game when he had lead. Unfortunately, Locust was just experienced and skilled enough to turn it around and get the comeback. And just like that, this series was over. That was like the quickest, quickest game ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really um, didn't seem like 20 minutes. It was no. so fast. This was uh, extremely fast. So the score was, in the first game, 10 to 8. That's 18 frags in, a, in 20 minutes on TM4. It's not, not a lot. And the second game was 17 to 11. Um, so all in all, 27 to 19. So just, there's, <laughs> that's not many frags of a difference. Oh, and it could have been, could have easily have been the other way around. Yeah, definitely. So that means that Locust is going to go to the winner bracket finals. Uh, where he will face either Recall or Loctar. What do you think about that game coming up tonight? Uh, Loctar versus Recall. Um, yeah. I think uh, Loctar won the last time they played on DM4 in, uh, was it the Refrag tournament? Yeah, perhaps. I don't quite uh, remember. Either way, so Loctar has every opportunity in the world to take that game, but uh, Recall is uh, pretty damn good on DM4. He completely demolished me. He doesn't have any nerves at all. It's like a machine. Uh, I know Loctar has a bit more nerves, so... Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I guess uh, the spawns will decide. Yeah, so that is a game that comes is gonna come up to tonight at 11 Central European time. Um, so roughly three hours. Yeah, roughly now. three hours from now. And uh, I'm sure all the Swedes are gonna have some soccer or football. And after that, I hope you all tune in to see that game because I'm sure that's gonna be just as interesting as this one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time in, in the beginning of this cast to talk about the the uh, history between BPS and Locust. They have such a rivalry, especially on Arrow Walk against each other. They've played countless of times against each other and they both hate it when they lose. And uh, it's such an interesting topic to talk about. So I'm a little bit sad that I didn't have the time because this was a pretty sudden cast. Yeah, um, I think they actually enjoy playing each other and I think they respect one another and uh, actually like one another, but uh, they really, really hate losing yeah. uh, to each other, so <laughs> that's that's what makes it so fun to watch. Yeah, and they both can get so mad when uh, when they lose against each other. Like, yeah, for uh, sure. They, they can even, like, you know, text each other in real life, insulting each other just because <laughs> the other one won. A game yeah, on yeah. Arrowwalk, and they can be they can be so so competitive against each other. So they have such a cool history and such a rivalry. So I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get more time to talk about that before the game. Anyways, um, 
Locust wins two to zero. BPS this time didn't have didn't have what it took to uh, to beat Locust. Um, yeah. So roughly three hours from now, please tune in for the uh, other winner brackets fi uh, semifinals between Lo Loctar and Recall. Sorry, so many names. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching this one. And I'm going to upload it on YouTube and, of course, make a VOD on Twitch, as always. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Carapace, for joining me. I hope you join me later as well, if you can. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, so thank you for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in three hours. Bye.